Hi guys, greetings of the day, myself Vijay Tavadhan and in this video lecture session I am going to show you a solution on projection of solids. And an example problem is like this, a pentagonal pyramid 25mm sides of base and 50mm axis length rests on HP on one of its corners of the base, such that the two base edges containing the corner on which it rests make, make equal inclinations with HP. Draw the projections of the pyramid when the axis of the pyramid is inclined to HP at 40 degree and VP at 30 degree. Now according to the given condition, go to applications, macros, run macro, click on inside polygon, open, select the flat length option and set it for 25 millimeter. And then the number of sides in the pentagon is always 5. Then click on the apply relationship, press the cursor anywhere on the screen so that one will get the pentagon properly. The pentagon has to be positioned in the HP properly. Then go to tools, maintain relationships, then go to the Intel sketch and my relationship, click on the midpoint and switch it on. Then using a line command with thickness of 0.5 millimeter from the midpoint to this endpoint and the midpoint to this endpoint, one has to draw the two perpendicular bisectors after which switch off the uh, midpoint once again in the Intel sketch. Then make use of a line command with a thickness of 0.5 millimeter draw all the five slant edges with respect to the center of the pentagon which we have drawn and then uh, one can go for a line command with the thickness of 0.13 project all the respective corners till it touches the xy line to draw the front view now in the front view the height of the pyramid is given as 50 millimeter so one has to draw the length of 50 millimeter line with thickness of 0.5 millimeter complete the front view as a triangle for a pyramid and then this is a chain line so we will make it as a chain line because that is an axis position then show that the axis is at a height of 50 millimeter and the size of the pentagon is 25 millimeter after which using the text command start naming the corners as a b c d e and this will become o and o1 o and o1 and accordingly in the front view this will be marked as b dash as well as a dash and then we have o1 dash o1 dash as well as we have c dash as well as a dash and then we have d dash now this corner is going to be that is the apex portion is going to be marked as o dash after which the axis is inclined to hp at 40 degree for which one has to select the front view Go to a command called as move, move with respect to the d dash, d dash has to be repositioned on the x y line properly at some convenient distance and then go for a command called as rotate, rotate with respect to the base uh, just d dash as well as a dash and d dash a dash is supposed to be rotated at an angle of 90 minus theta that is 90 minus 40, the base is supposed to be rotated at an angle of 50 degrees so that the axis is inclined at 40 degree. So using angle between command show that the axis is inclined at 40 degree. Then using a line command with the thickness of 0.13 millimeter draw the projectors from the both top and front views to draw the second stage top view. Now C and D is going to be at these locations and then we have the axis line that is O1 position will be on this line only and then we have left out with B and D. So we'll connect B to B and A to A. And after which make use of a text command start naming the corners which we are going to get the projections A, B, C, D, E and this will become O1 and this will be the O. And then complete the boundary as per the rules of visibility as a dark lines. That is 0.5 mm fix A to B, B to C, C to O and O to E and A this is going to be the boundary. Since from the top the base is not visible to the observer because apex is nearer, henceforth the base edges which are not on the boundary is supposed to be the invisible edges. Now we will make that the two base edges are invisible. Now such of the slant edges which are passing inside the invisible base are visible that is AO and AB is going to be the visible lines and then make use of a line command with a thickness of 0.5 millimeter and a dashed line join this OD as a invisible line because the OD is passing outside the visible base sorry invisible base hence it must be invisible then uh, with the 
line style as a chain line with 0.13 mm as a thickness connect O2 O1 as a chain line and after which using a line command with a thickness of 0.13 and a continuous line draw the inclination of the VP as 30 degree as given in the question and after drawing this line uh, set that angle to 30 degree and after setting this angle to 30 degree now one can measure that the axis is inclined to HP already at 40 degree hence there will be a reduction in length so we need to measure the reduced length the reduced length is measuring as 38.3 millimeter that is nothing but the apparent length so one has to construct the apparent angle so for which using a point command locate a point on a 30 degree line with a thickness of 0 point sorry uh, 2 millimeter and go for arc by center point with a thickness of 0 0.13 draw an arc of radius 50 millimeter as a true length on the 30 degree line and then go to a line command and draw a locus over that and then go to arc by center point command and draw one more arc with a radius of 38.3 millimeter on the locus of line what we have created and then join these two points of a arc and a point and then measure this angle which is nothing but the angle beta which is measuring as 41 degree now this top view has to be repositioned on the 41 degree line properly so make use of a move command move with respect to O1 and this is the end point O1 is fixed and then go for rotate command now O1 as a fixed O is going to be rotating shift the O to the beta line and then make use of a line command with a thickness of 0 0.13 and start drawing the projectors properly to complete the frame view so O dash is connected to O and then C and E is going to be connected and along with C we have to complete the E also and then we have to go for O1 dash we will connect O1 dash to O1 and then D dash is connected up to the XY line and BA is up to this height so we will connect BA like this and after which make use of the text command start naming the respective corners this corner as E dash this corner as B dash uh, sorry B dash and this is going to be C dash and this is going to be D dash and finally this is going to be the E dash and this corner will become O1 dash and this is going to be the O dash and then using a line command with a thickness of 0 0.5 millimeter and a continuous line draw the boundary line that is A dash to O dash to C dash then to D dash then E dash and then to A dash then the base is nearer to the observer from the front compared to the apex hence the base edges must be visible that is A dash to B dash and B dash to C dash is visible then the slant edges which are passing inside the visible base are invisible that is E dash to O dash as well as O dash to D dash is invisible edges such of the slant edges which are passing outside the visible base are always visible that is B dash to O dash is visible now one can see that this E dash O dash is not connected properly also C dash D dash is not connected we will reconstruct those two lines that is E dash to O dash and O dash to D dash and then the axis line has to be represented in the form of a chain line we will go to the chain line with thickness of 0 0.13 so one will construct the chain line from O dash to O1 dash now one can say that the problem is completed in all aspects then if you have any sort of doubts please feel free to contact me and also one can say that the problem is completed and kindly share this video to all the first year engineering students and also please do subscribe to my youtube channel and thanks for watching this video once again